Okay, Google Chrome on iOS. I'm downloading it right now. This is the first look. Um, I have no idea what this is gonna be like. I definitely use Chrome on my Android. I've got my S3 here. <laughs> Jeez, look at the difference in screen size between these two. Uh, just updated to Chrome, uh, which is out of beta, so I am going to check it out on the iPhone and see what it looks like. So let's take a look here. If I press press on it, sorry for the Muore on the screen, that's just a function of the pixels and um, the camera. Let's see if I can just get out, just back out a bit here, see if that works. Okay, we'll say accept. Oh, it's asking me to log in, so I'll throw in my, so let's see, so search the web directly, switch between open tabs, or take a tour. So if we switch between open tabs, press the tab button, yep, close it, that's just, that's similar to Android. Um, so let's see if I find some of my bookmarks here. We'll go here, uh, just regular bookmarks, um, desktop bookmarks. Yeah, just like Android, or excuse me, um, the same, same user interface as Android. If I go to this page here, pretty nice, pretty fast. Um, Nice pinch to zoom, nice scrolling. The downside to this, and in, in terms of iOS in general, is that if you get a URL, you can't choose your browser, right? So I'm stuck forever with Safari. So for example, if I go to um, mail and I find a link, let's see if I can find a link. Uh, let's see here. If I click that, oh, I'm in Safari. So there's no real native integration um, with the software with iOS. So like you have to, I don't know. If you want full control over your browser, you use Android. <laughs> if you want um, a good browser experience, uh, I would say choose Chrome on the iPhone. I mean, this is again, my first time looking at it, but seems pretty fast, seems pretty smooth. Um, let's see if we go to DP review, let's see how fast this guy loads here. This is always my standard to check. It's going to load the mobile site, but yeah, that's pretty good. So, um, the other thing I heard was that it would also synchronize between devices too. So if you had an iPad here, I think you can open up a page and it would go to the same page if you, uh, maybe edited the settings or, um, yeah, see other devices. So yeah, pretty, pretty cool. You can, um, look through <laughs> all your history on different machines. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, so great browser. Uh, looking forward to using this on the iPhone and the iPad. So thanks very much and check out my other videos.